Hi, this is Doug Wolf with Boise State University, and uh, this is a video for the Windows users of Game Salad to help you in dealing with a bug where your uh, text displays may not be displaying when they should be. Um, this is something that seems to be a bug only on the Windows side. You can take the exact same project over to the Mac side and it typically will work correctly. Let me just show you. I've set up a little file here that demonstrates this bug. And again, it only happens some of the time. I don't know why some of the time and why not other times. But uh, this actor up here, this big white box, is uh, set up to do a display text of the attribute game.text input. Uh, game.text input we set up by clicking a button down here. This actor is a button. It has a label that says enter text. And uh, when you uh, tap that or click that, there's a rule that says when touch is pressed, then we do a keyboard input. And uh, keyboard input changes game.text input. So basically, um, the idea is that when I click the button, a box appears that allows me to type into it. When I click done, it then should update game.text input, and then the actor up here should display the value of game.text input. Let me show you what it's doing now currently. So I click my enter text button. This is the ugly box they give you for text input. I type something, click done, and it is not appearing here. Try it one more time, maybe we do numbers instead. I click done, and it's still not appearing. I think that the key problem that's behind this bug, I don't know for sure, but my hypothesis is that Game Salad has a bit of a timing problem on the Windows side. Um, that I think that this uh, actor up here is not constantly checking the value of game.text input. It's checking it when that changes. There's a certain flag that gets triggered. And I think what's happening is when we go into our text input, and I've seen this happen with other kinds of things where you're using a counter um, or doing other types of things. You're trying to change something based on a value of, of some attribute. Um, so it's not the particular method um, that you're using to update the attribute. But I believe what happens is that it attempts to display the text before it has actually changed the value of this um, attribute. So what we have to do is a little trick in the code that essentially gives this thing a kick in the head so that it knows that it needs to update the text. And so the way I go about doing that is um, I come here into the code. This is for my actor that's displaying the text, or it's supposed to display the text. I'm going to add a rule. And, uh, oh, before I do that, I meant to add a game attribute that's going to be a Boolean. And I'm just going to call this show text display. You can call it whatever you like. And I'm going to set its default value to true. So that's by checking the little box. So when uh, attribute. So if game show text display is true, then what I want to do is display the text. So I'm going to drag this down inside the rule. Okay. So all I've done is change it so my display text only happens if this attribute, this game dot show text display, is true. All right. Now I'm going to come over to my button, which is where I have my, have my keyboard entry, keyboard input here. And I'm just going to add a couple of things here. One is that I'm going to add a change attribute. And I'm going to set that little flag that I created, that game.showTextDisplay. I'm going to set it to false. So that's going to tell Game Salad, quit displaying the text in this box. All right, but I'm only going to do that briefly because I'm then right after this going to add a timer. And I'm going to set the timer to say that after 0.1 seconds, and I need to check run to completion. If you don't do that, it won't work. And I'm going to um, do a change attribute, set 
game show text display back to true. So all I'm really doing here is just briefly toggling the display of the text off and back on. And that'll give it the kick in the head it needs so that it displays this correctly. Let's try running the code and see how it works. All right, so I hit enter text, type some text, click done, and there's my text. If I hit enter text and change that, maybe I'll do some numbers this time so you can see the difference. And there it is. So that's all you need to do if you run into that. It generally works. Um, it's worked every time I've tried it so far. Uh, I have not spent a great deal of time playing around with the length of time to set the timer to. The value here, I have not spent a lot of time playing with it. A tenth of a second usually seems to work for most of the things that I'm doing. If there's too much of a blink in your text, you could try setting it shorter and see if that'll work. Um, I'm not sure it matters a great deal exactly how long, other than if you made it very, very, very short, you might run into the same problem again. But uh, experiment with it. Let me know if you have problems. Ask me if you have any questions.